Hey everybody, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil, and it's time to talk The Expanse. Last episode, we wrapped up a major storyline. Mao is captured, Aaron Wright is arrested, Strickland is dead, Nguyen is dead, and a lot of the bad guys from the last season plus are suddenly taken care of, and it seems to be good times all around. But... The proto-molecule has learned how to make itself a spaceship, it would appear. And that spaceship is just launched from Venus, and it looks massive, and it's a giant space jellyfish glowing blue, and where it's going, unclear. But the proto-molecule can now propel itself throughout the system, and that seems like a major problem. Is there any other proto-molecule in the system? There's what Fred Johnson has, that, that sample that Naomi hid in the belt and then turned over to him. And beyond that, who knows? Maybe Mao had other experiments. We know he, he had uh, the experiments with Dresden that ended up on Eros. We know he experimented with the Caliban um, on Io. What else might he have been doing with the protomolecule? Is that the extent of Mao's involvement, or does he have projects like this scattered all over the system, and we just haven't found out about them yet? Um, but I'm assuming we're going to get a Mao and Christian scene face-to-face -face this episode, so that is something to look forward to. Yeah. But I also feel like, just when we think, that this show's so good at adding compounding problems so right now the clear threat is this this proto molecule ship that's just launched from venus but what else is going to arise that's going to make things difficult for our our main characters i have no idea i'm ready to find out though so let's jump into it guys without any further delay we'll talk a ton at the end of this episode i think but Let's jump into it. This is episode seven from season three, and it's called Delta V. Change in velocity. Although it may stand for something else here. Oh, I wish I hadn't seen that. But there's a special appearance in this episode. Hmm. What's that going to be about? The arrest of the traitor, Aaron Wright, and the resignation of Secretary General Sir Anthony Gillis. Oh. Whom we thank for his service. He's resigned. Has given us the opportunity to choose a new future. Is she going to be the Secretary General? We would be justified. I don't think she, vengeance. she wants to be but instead, a politician per se. We will se. choose peace. What role is for she going to take? we have arrived at the dawn of a new era and are witness to an event unlike anything else in the history of our species. Yeah. What is this thing? Earth, oh Mars, my god. And the belt, and it's this crazy organic tech one thing. People with a shared purpose. We will face the unknown together. Oh, wow. It's like a snake eating its own tail. What the ring beyond Uranus. Huh. What's that? A slingshot race. Okay. How much time has passed? Evita, your nail keep the best time in the system for the Jupiter 6 run. When I get back to Sirius, you go and you'll be banging a superstar. Spinoza has been setting records for the. And now, breaking news of the ring. A few months later. <laughs> Oh, these visuals are awesome. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> fucking ring. What time all thing but the fucking ring. He wants to be famous, and the ring keeps stealing his headlines. You always off somewhere, do your thing, and you get tired of the weight. And your bread now. You understand me? They say for sewing out this stuff. Oh no! What? <laughs> what a way to break up! Is he just gonna crash himself into the ring or something? Oh 
Golden's going to the ring. Fuck the ring. He hates the ring. He's the hero of the belt. Oh. Yeah. This where I go on your B and win. Only for you. For the good. And I don't say nothing for no one. Don't say anything to anyone. And all man gone, you know. I do this for you. Uh, uh so what's the ring about? It's half a year. Almost exactly. Oh, look at them all. So a lot of people think you're special. Special? I don't know about special. Lucky, maybe. Here you are again on the edge of the unknown. Why push your luck? Because you're paying us. The ring. How does that make you feel? Kind of makes me want a donut. <laughs> you're deflecting <laughs> again. It's there. I don't know what it is. But there's plenty of people way smarter than me out here trying to figure it out. We're just trying to make a living. Would you have done this documentary if we didn't agree to pay your legal fees? Nope. <laughs> so what about you? You're just here for the money too? I'm gonna be on the ship one way or the other. At least this one's part of mine. Fair quarter share for everybody. Quarter? There's only three of you on board. Where is Naomi? What happened to Naomi Nagata? Man, lots has changed. She's on a leave of absence. Is she with the Belters on the ex Nauvoo? It's now called the Behemoth. All right. Man, this feels like the start of a new season. Just give them to me already. On Tycho, that would get you six months in jail. Out here for the real rock hopper on the long haul, the pixie for keep you alert, focus. Shadow just dark where the fuck you be. On my way. I like how her belter accent comes back. If they want to do it, they can do it on their own time. You get no trouble from me, boss man. Yeah. Her belter accent's back. You're late. And you're cranky. We both knew this was coming. That's what you get when you dance with the devil. <laughs> Into pale moonlight? You know, I've got your back. Damn, I better I'm your captain. No one's going to change that. <laughs> Who's this guy? Commander Klaus Sarsch for requesting permission to come aboard. And I say no. <laughs> <laughs> no. You have done well for yourself. You too. Of course, that always was your main concern. <laughs> you remember Mr. Harari? You little shit. The OPA officially granted him amnesty. Fred didn't tell you. I talked to Cortezar. He said to say hello. I hope that's a temporary tattoo, you idiot. That is Naomi Nagata, whose service to the belt was far greater than yours could ever be. You are lieutenant in the OPA Navy now. Start acting like one. Yes, sir. My apologies. There's a proper OPA Navy. Welcome to the behemoth. I can feel the love already. <laughs> okay. Interesting new OPA character. Oh, Anna's still around. Do you think it might have been alive in some way? A life form? Yeah. Aren't you part of the godly contingent? No, I came here on a spaceship, not the wings of an angel. I'm able to appreciate the difference. <laughs> an intelligence created it. What do you think it is? Pray that it's inert. So you still have family on Mars, isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. When was the last time you saw them? You don't see a lot of people come up through the apprentice program off basic. I guess I got lucky. So where were you based before you came up the well? No place in particular. You know how it is. Your intake papers said Baltimore. <laughs> we're gonna start probing into the past. You don't seem to have any official government records at all apart from a birth certificate and a registered win with the apprenticeship lottery when you were 15. Where? A guy who was also named Amos Burton, who was some sort of mob boss. It was just a common name. You think? <laughs> I hope that wasn't expensive. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm making a documentary. The point is to get under your skin and into your head. What is it going to take for you to get comfortable with me? You being off the ship? They'll be sleeping before the episode's out. What are you doing right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not even going to take the end of the episode. 
Oh shit, we're at eight. <laughs> ah, I love Amos. <laughs> Built by Beltalada. That is something the Inners cannot ignore. Because they know if we can do this, then that is just the beginning. I hope the Nauvoo never gets infected with proto molecule. The, the OPA signal is basically an anarchy symbol. It's it's odd. Hey, Gregory. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was about to apologize. Okay, we're good. We used to work together. Dawes asked me to ask. He was very worried when he heard you got shot. I had his name tattooed around the womb to remind me. I forgot how funny you are. <laughs> I am here to be your first officer, and I have no problem with you believe really? you should be in command. Yeah, of course I do, but this is not about experience. It's about politics. Neither one of them cares if you or I are happy with the arrangement. Ah, uh, finally, some truth. I haven't lied to you. Yet. <laughs> we have to work together. For the good of the new Belta state. Our construction skiff malfunctioned. It's stuck in a hard spin. Pilot's not responding. Ah, it's 1G+. Plus. It must have blacked out. Killing the drive now. I'll bring it back to the dock. Okay, he's impressed. Oh. It's too late. He stroked out. <laughs> it's the guy on drugs that she... cross paths with at the start. I have to admit, I kind of missed that old red sky. I've been back to Mars since I was shipped out for Phoebe way back when. So Mars is going there too. I'm kind of jealous. Your kid was sweet. Your wife was polite. You guys talking? Yeah, sort of. Calissa filed for divorce. Oh. We're talking about How that. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Honestly, kind of relieved. Does that make me an asshole? Nah. It's better to know what you want and who you are. You know, my fellow soldiers might dispute how you took ownership of your ship, but you earned that seat you're in. <laughs> Top-notch pilot. Thank you. I saw the skiff pilot with a dealer earlier. I should have told you about it. Why? I made you chief engineer because I learned to trust you. I'm sorry. I don't expect you to be perfect. Who is the dealer? Yeah. Me you down. So we've almost got two crews on this ship. We have the Johnson side, and we've got the Dawes side. Ugh. I miss you. Your daughter misses you, and we love you very much. Come home soon. So Chris Jen's still on Earth, presumably. I'm assuming that's where she did that broadcast from. And is she... Hey, Melba, did you clock in before you showered? What? The Secretary you General or anything? Shower, log it as decontamination and tool check time. Uh, this is James Holt. We put that shithead Mao in jail. What about him? No, oh, he's out here. They're making a documentary about him. No shit. Hey, new girl. Like what you see? Wouldn't rub up against that narcissistic asshole with your junk. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Listen, the first contract's always the toughest. Stick with us. We'll get you through it. Okay. Good. High explosive. What? What's going on there? So this is your spot, huh? Until you came to the hatch. I wonder where Prax is. This project's gonna work. We're gonna have to learn to trust each other. I don't care if it works. Is he like blind? Madness. It's unusual to find green walls on a ship like this. I call them Prax panels. What's a Prax? He helped us, and we helped him find his little girl. Where are they now? They're both on Ganymede Station. They went back to Gary. Prax is helping him rebuild it. Cool. You miss him? He's my best friend. Company. He's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> Why didn't you go with him? I'm not really the rebuilding type. Does that mean I have a chance? <laughs> like I told her, now shit in the galley. 
<laughs> what has she done there? Is she a spy? Is she like a Martian plant or something? Flip that buff around. Put that in the wrong way. Power goes dirty, sends a fall, so the next one goes to standby, then the one after that. Pretty soon you got a whole ship powered down. That's not a good design. Better to fail safe than to blow something out a million clicks from a shipyard. Right. Oh. Well, she's got the dealer. She's just gonna space him? What are you doing? This one supplies him. I'm going to space him and make him watch in full view of the crew. You do not have to be part of it. Captain! We have to start acting like members of a society that obeys the rule of law, not like the animals that the inners have always portrayed us to be. Hmm. Yeah, he's got an ulterior motive, but maybe he's not wrong. But now she looks weak in the front door of- will be open for one shift. If anyone has any contraband in their possession, they have until then to put it in here with no repercussion. After that, anyone caught dealing will be thrown in the brig, court-martialed, and sent back to Ceres for incarceration on a prison barge. Those are our captain's orders. Oh, the power struggle is going to be real here. <laughs> oh man, that's not healthy at all. And what's this? Is he going to be the first to get there? What's going to happen to him? Look at that beard. He's been going for a while. Is he just going to shoot the ring? Yeah, he's just planning on going through the middle of it. What's going to happen to him? I think maybe I was wrong about you. You pull this one off. It's gonna be waiting for you when you get back. <laughs> Nail's not gonna pull it off. Oh, Fifty kilos. You think this act of mercy makes us better? A small step, but forward. This is not who we are. Who do you think we should be? I agree with the captain. I admire your loyalty, but I don't believe you. Why is Naomi Nagata here with us now? I think this is our time. She needs to hear it from someone she trusts. I like this guy, but I don't trust him. <laughs> oh, did she... He's gonna discover it? Why'd you have to look? What in God's name have you been doing? I have to do this. I fought people before. Please don't make me hurt you. I'm so sorry. Is she Proto? <laughs> what? Why is? Why is she? She must be infected. I think what you are are liars. All of you. Okay. You say you're not special? It's obvious that you are. And I think you like that you are. I think you're trying to get a rise out of me. I'll see you later. No hard feelings? Not yet. I'll catch up with you later. What is he up to? Who is this cameraman? One identified vessel approaching the ring. You have entered restricted space. Respond immediately or you may be fired upon. No need. Transponder busted, yeah? Me surrender. Just got to get slowed down a little. Firing up in a few seconds. Hold your piss. Today, I do this. You. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen when he goes through the ring? Today, I make history. Me, Maneo, you, let's blow. Oh, my God. It, he hit the brakes. 
Super freaking hard. My god. What does that mean? The ship didn't get destroyed, but... But it's like it just stopped. Like a giant spider. Whoa. What? What, what? Uh, okay. I, I feel like this show would almost be better if you didn't know the episode numbers. Because this, for all intents and purposes, was a season premiere. It just happens to be the seventh episode of season three for no particular reason other than it, this show does 13 episodes a, a season. But it's a new story. It's a time jump. It's a new issue. Everyone's in new situations. This is the exposition episode, basically just laying the groundwork for this new story. So yeah, this is essentially a season premiere. Might as well call it what it is. I'm intrigued. I'm super intrigued. Sorrento Gillis stepped down as the Secretary General. We knew Aaron Wright was arrested as a traitor for, for treason, but we didn't think Sorrento Gillis would be leaving, but he figured he'd get out while you're ahead, I suppose. But does that mean, like, on, on at first glance, you go, okay, then Chris Jen is the Secretary General the most powerful person on earth but but she always said she didn't want to be a politician she she worked better basically being the puppeteer than the politician but the way she was delivering that that statement to the people of earth it felt like i think she might be the sg but i want to know what else is going on with her but because all the rest of the story is out here deep in space the the un is heading to well, first of all, there is a ring. The the proto molecule created a space squid launched from Venus, went all the way past Uranus, and then transformed itself into this ring. To what end? Who knows? Uh, except if you go through that ring, as Maneo just showed us. Your ship gets captured and you die of massive negative G-forces. You, your, your body keeps going out of your body. At least I'm assuming that's what we saw there. Maybe something else, there's a slightly different scientific explanation for what just happened there. But it, it, it's essentially a big old high-tech spider web by the looks of it. But Maneo's not getting back to Ceres, and he's not getting back to Avita, and um, yeah, poor buddy. Everyone else is heading to the ring, the MCRN, the UNN, to investigate. But we we don't have a ton of knowledge about exactly what that mission entails. We know the Rosinante is part of the UNN convoy. I, I think they said they were the part of the UNN. They're going there anyway as part of this this big old peaceful convoy with a documentary crew on board who's learning all about the heroes that the, the, this crew has become. But I feel like we're, we haven't learned everything yet. I feel like you know the 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 director of the documentary she she accused Holden of them all being liars that she's not getting the full story about why they're there and this may just be holding tilting at windmills still but maybe there's more to it than that maybe maybe they like what what why what does what does chris jen hired them for they're not doing this just for the money that's the story that they're telling the documentary crew but but i feel like they are on a an express mission from Christian, that would be my take on it. Gunny's back with the MCRN. She's a, a Martian Marine. No, the MMC. Sorry, she's not not Navy. She's Marines, uh, I think. But she's also heading in that direction because she and Alex had a live convo, which means they were in relatively close proximity. 
Oh, that's cool. She got reinstated. Relations between Earth and Mars seem much better than they were half a year ago. Relations amongst the Belters are very tense. It seems like Dawes negotiated his way into putting one of his men as first mate on board the Behemoth, ex the Nauvoo. So Drummer's got to deal with this guy that she can't trust as her right-hand man. Um, she still has... Well, she now has Naomi as her chief engineer. Naomi's left the Rosinante, and she's joined the uh, the new Belter nation. I don't know if we're still calling it the OPA per se, or whether they're they're trying. To, the The Belters are going for legitimacy here, aren't they? They've established a navy. They are um, trying to be a great nation like Earth and Mars. That you know, this this is pirates starting a country. Man, I want to see black sails. But Naomi kind of agrees with the new guy and how they should be doing things. You know, drummers. I mean, Belter ways have always been so harsh. You know, in the in pirate justice, sort of, so so to speak. You know, somebody somebody breaks the law, they get spaced, especially if they're like supplying drugs. And getting people killed. But no, it's time to turn over a new leaf. And maybe Naomi agrees with that, even though she doesn't like the, the, the new first mate, doesn't agree with him and trust him. She, sorry, she agrees with him, but she doesn't trust him. Um, very interesting dynamic aboard that ship. And I don't see it ending well. Diogo's back as one of the, the first mate's men, one of his loyalists, part of the... The OPA Navy? Is that what we're calling it? The OPAN? I don't know. We were hinting more at... Uh, I don't know where this story's going yet. Obviously, the ring has a lot to do with it. What 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 is the proto-molecule's intent? Is the, I mean, there is a sentience to that life form. It's not just a technology sent by an alien race. It is sentient in and of itself, I think. And we get Miller at the very end there. Holden's having visions of Miller. What does that mean? Is that is that Miller himself, his conscience, still part of this proto molecule, part of the ring, somehow connecting with Holden, uh, or is this just a, a vision? Is 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 Holden uh, a smidge crazy? I don't know. No idea. No idea what's going on. But I, I love that we've, we've got many of the same chess pieces, but they're on different places in the board. And, and it's taking us a minute to go, uh, to, to look at the whole picture and go, okay, what does this mean? Everyone feels like they're in a pretty good place. Earth and Mars are at peace. Then we have random stuff. I mean, I, I, I like the, the Maneo in his little uh, um, racing ship deciding to to shoot the ring um, to win his girl back I don't think there's any more story there other than let's demonstrate what the what the ring does but there's another story that we got introduced to just a random story of these three support workers as part of I think they were part of the UN and sort of but sort of like a, a merchant ship sort of as part of that flotilla and and this woman Melba, the new girl, who planted explosives on this ship that they were working on, but what ship was it? What was the relevance? I, it wasn't a name that I recognized. Who is she working for? And then she demonstrates this extreme physical ability that we haven't seen yet from anything other than a Caliban. So. Has the proto molecule figured out a way to be a create a hybrid that doesn't look like a hybrid that still looks human? Is it l less capable than a um, than your average than the hybrids we had two episodes ago, one episode ago? But it's still still a proto human hybrid that has greater strength or speed or whatever. Than your normal human, 
but under control of the proto molecule. Is that what Melba was, or she didn't seem like she was just like if I don't know, I I don't know what to make of that. She she seemed extra human, like like she she had human personality. She was obviously stressed out. She felt she was overwhelmed. That was all a cover for her to just place her bomb. But yeah, I don't know. I'll have to watch another episode. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> Please don't tell me. No spoilers. But I'll figure it out. I promise. <laughs> uh, time for a new book. I guess that's where we are, isn't it? And what's the ring for? What on earth is the ring for? So many new questions. So few answers. But that's the way you start any new story. So the, the, I shouldn't be surprised. And I shouldn't be frustrated. And I'll just have to wait until next week. So, uh, thanks to all of you for hanging out, spending a little time here today on Neil Talks. It means the world to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Consider checking out my Patreon if you're so inclined. It's the best way to support me and the channel. And until next week, everybody. Take care. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>